States of America. Our, you know, the kind of dialogue that we are having for the last several years now, two years at least, it's a wonderful dialogue. It's a, and because of this very good cooperation, not only between our two militaries, our intelligence agencies, our uh, civil law enforcement agencies, our political leadership, our army leadership, the, there is a very good cooperation that has been forged in order to defeat these forces. The other challenge, which is also directly linked to the economy, uh, to, to terrorism, is the revival of the economy. Our economy, which was growing at a rate of 6 to 7 percent till the 80s, began to slow down again because of the Afghanistan crisis, because of terrorism. So the, our focus is at the moment on the revival of the economy. And I think the, uh, these efforts have produced some good results. Good results because in the last one year, the economy has picked up from 3% of uh, uh, growth to, for, of uh, 2012 and 2013, last year's growth, growth figures were 4.2%. And according to the World Bank and IMF and other international agencies, uh, the Pakistan's economy is expected to grow uh, up to 5.5, 5.3% next year, which is, which is something which is very impressive, which also shows the kind of reforms which have been introduced by the government. Modi's and other international rating agencies, Standard and, Standard and Poor and other agencies, they have upgraded Pakistan's economic outlook from negative to positive, which is again something which is wonderful because the inflation in the last one year, which, was, which had reached a double digit figure of 11 to 12 percent, has come down to 4.5 percent. The foreign direct investment has improved tremendously. Uh, when we, I remember that last year when we offered the oil and gas sector, we offered um, um, the auto industry, we offered uh, uh, investments in agriculture, the response was extremely positive. On the 10th and 11th of March, the U.S. government and the government of Pakistan, we are jointly organizing a business opportunities conference in Islamabad. This is the third of the series of the conference conferences jointly being developed by Pakistan and the U.S., where uh, uh, besides the Secretary of Commerce, uh, who is leading a uh, high-power delegation to participate in that uh, uh, conference, we are getting uh, uh, more than 200 <coughs> businessmen from the United States of America uh, coming from various corporations to participate in that uh, uh, the Business Opportunities Conference, where uh, they will look at various opportunities that exist, whether in the uh, 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 in industry, oil and gas, water, infrastructure, agriculture, uh, health, all these areas would be up for, uh, for joint ventures or for uh, investments. You know, the economic situation is becoming so good that JETRO, the uh, Japanese uh, agency, has uh, termed Pakistan as the second most uh, important destination for foreign investment because of the, uh, of the good uh, uh, opportunities available, because of the good money that the business people they are making in Pakistan. And similarly, uh, uh, the standard, uh, the SACS, uh, 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 Goldman Sachs, they have also, uh, in their uh, report, recent report, they have declared that Pakistan's economy would be the uh, 18th largest economy by 2050. But I, we feel that the way we are proceeding, it may be even earlier. Similarly, um, uh, uh, the latest World Bank report, which has been published, that shows Pakistan ahead of other regional countries in terms of ease of doing business in Pakistan. So, you know, these are some of the good um, um, uh, uh, kind of a uh, positive stories that we are talking about. In terms of 
U.S.-Pakistan bilateral cooperation. Again, we have a robust strategic dialogue between our two countries at the level of Secretary of State and the Foreign Minister of Pakistan. We recently, Secretary of State, um, uh, Mr. John Kerry was in Pakistan for the uh, uh, third round of the strategic dialogue in, uh, on 18th of January. Um, and I think, again, under this strategic dialogue, some uh, very good development has taken place. We have established six working groups. Working group on eco economy and trade. Uh, we have a $5.5 billion worth of trade, uh, uh, Pakistan and the United States of America, but this, the purpose of this working group is to increase this level of trade to, uh, to a much higher figure, maybe about $10 billion in the next five years. So that's the kind of efforts which are being made. We have a working group on energy cooperation. Again, it's a, uh, you know that uh, our economic economy also slowed down because of power shortages, because unfortunately, uh, our planners, economic planners, they could not, our energy requirements could not keep pace with the overall development which was taking place in the country. So accordingly, uh, there is a lot of focus on the energy sector development. The uh, projects which are in the pipeline at the moment, they will add about 10,000 megawatts of electricity in the next five to six years. But again, here I would like to mention that because of the U.S. good cooperation with Pakistan, the, only by the U.S. efforts, we have been able to increase about 1,400 megawatts of electricity in our national grid in the last one year. So that basically, that is also speaks volume about the good cooperation that we are having with the U.S. energy sector. Similarly, we have a, a very good uh, dialogue on defense cooperation. The, our de defense cooperation is excellent. Uh, 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 there, are, there is regular interaction between General Dempsey and Army Chief General Rahil Sharif. Uh, there is a regular interaction between the intelligence uh, 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 CIA director and Director General ISI, and the co cooperation has become very good. We are uh, jointly working in order to bring about peace and stability in Afghanistan and other hotspots in the region. So that's a wonderful area of cooperation between Pakistan and the United States of America. On nuclear, we have a, we have a working group on nuclear non-proliferation and strategic stability. Again, being a nuclear power, we are, uh, we are part of the, this, these important discussions. We share the same objectives with the United States of America of nuclear non-proliferation, and we are contributing significantly to these efforts. Our own command and control system of our Pakistani nuclear assets is something which is, which is again, becoming a model of uh, a command and control system by many other countries and deeply appreciated by, by, by the US and other countries. As a matter of fact, in the recently held um, nuclear security summit uh, in The Hague last year, which uh, uh, where President Obama was also there and the other world leaders were also there, Secretary Kerry in his press conference declared Pakistan's command and control system of the nuclear uh, assets that we have as a model kind of a uh, uh, command and control system uh, to be followed by other countries. So we, feel, we take great pride that we have been able to, to, to uh, ensure the security and safety of our nuclear assets. Then we have a working group on um, uh, counterterrorism and law enforcement, uh, where um, we are getting very good cooperation from the uh, US side in building up the capacity of our own civilian law enforcement agencies. We have a working group on uh, education. Uh, we have the largest number of uh, Pakistani students studying in the United States of America under the Fulbright Scholarship Program. Um, so these are, again, uh, uh, good areas of cooperation, and I have absolutely no doubt that in the coming months and years, this cooperation is going to further increase. Uh, in terms of regional cooperation, again, I would say that uh, uh, as I said, that U.S. and Pakistan are working jointly in order to bring peace and stability in Afghanistan. We both worked closely 
Uh, we are working closely with the new Afghan government, led by President Ashraf Ghani and uh, Chief Executive uh, uh, Mr. Abdullah Abdullah. And I think, again, it's a very good cooperation, trilateral cooperation that is going on between Pakistan, Afghanistan, and the United, uh, and, uh, United States of America. Uh, we are uh, working very closely in order to ensure that uh, uh, the, uh, the positive developments which have taken place in Afghanistan, they, uh, they, are, they make further progress, they stabilize, and we will do anything to stabilize the situation in Afghanistan. We have contributed significantly to the economic development of uh, Afghanistan. We have recently spent about $500 million in in various developmental activities in Afghanistan, including building of some primary schools, health centers, a university, uh, and also a road from Torkham, which is the Pakistan border, up to Jalalabad, which is the uh, Afghanistan pro uh, province. 